Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition. This is for Tuesday, the fifth day of May. I'm James Spann. We stay warm today, but noticeably cooler air arrives tomorrow, and a secondary surge of cool air comes in here by the weekend. Some of the colder valleys may be, may be getting a light touch of frost by early Sunday morning. How about that for mid-May? Here we go. Upper air look, troughing to the west. That's going to help to push a front surface boundary through here this afternoon. There's a look at the regional radar that was at 446 this morning. Got a few little showers along the front, nothing too heavy at that point. Starting off the day mostly in the 60s, although Birmingham with that UHI, urban heat island effect, 71. We're expecting low 80s today. There's the watch warning map. Once again, excessive heat warnings for the desert southwest. Otherwise, things pretty quiet. Along the front, the chance of a few strong storms from southeastern Texas over toward the middle Atlantic coast in Alabama. A slight risk kind of clipping the northeastern tip of the state. Uh, then for areas north and east of Birmingham, we have a level one out of five marginal risk. And some of the storms this afternoon could produce hail, gusty winds, kind of a low end threat. There's no risk of a tornado. Tomorrow, no severe weather expected across the country. And then Thursday, got a risk of severe storms up on the Red River, up around uh, Wichita Falls, uh, Childress, Texas, northwest of Dallas-Fort Worth. Here's the rain for the next seven days. Heavier totals west of Alabama. And our state amount should be under one inch. After today, we'll have a chance of showers on Friday. But generally speaking, it's a fairly dry pattern compared to what we experienced for the first four months of the year. So model fans, let's go. Here's the GFS, the 06E run, 4 o'clock this afternoon, troughing to the north, a surface low over southeastern Kentucky with a trailing front. And the question is, can we see a few storms on the front? Well, this is the NAM, not showing a lot. And there's not a lot of forcing with this, and there's probably going to be a capping inversion. And this is the HER. And again, you could pick out the front, but, uh, and again, there'll be some convection on that, but... Remains to be seen how widespread the rain will be. Now, there's going to be a lot of instability. This is the cape in advance of the front. The values come up to over 2,000 joules per kilogram. But again, there's no SRH, no risk of a tornado, and with capping and kind of weak dynamic forcing, not so sure we see that much rain. But there could be a stronger storm, maybe with small hail and gusty winds. Now, tomorrow will be a much cooler day. I think we're going to be in the 60s all day with a good northwest wind of 15 to 25. And probably a cloud deck will be moving in here. And uh, this is the high-res NAM at 4 o'clock tomorrow. And there might be a few sprinkles underneath that cloud deck. So we'll just say a mixture of clouds and sunshine. And highs in the mid to upper 60s, a pretty good north wind. It will not feel like May. Now, Thursday, we're going to be in the 40s to start the day. Lows 42 to 45. The high will be close to 70, bright sunshine. And then Friday, here comes the next front. Cloudy with a good chance of showers, maybe some thunder. Don't expect any severe weather. There's basically no surface-based instability. And then Saturday, a reinforcing surge of cool air comes in here. Highs only in the middle 60s, and that's with a sunny sky. Look at the anomalies on Saturday. That's a lot of blue and green. Temperatures way below average. It is a winter-like look in mid-May. Sunday. Now, Sunday morning, uh, in the cities, you'll, you'll see low 40s. But away from the cities, in those colder valleys, we're going to see some 30s, and there might be a touch of light frost. I don't think it'll be a damaging frost for growers, but still, that's pretty remarkable for this time of the year. Then during the day Sunday, the sky will be sunny. The high should be in the 70s. And what's that thing down there in the Gulf? Hmm. Hurricane season's getting close, you know. Go to Monday. That uh, surface low kind of moves toward the Florida Peninsula. We're still dry. Monday should be a beautiful day. Here's a week from today, Tuesday, the 12th, troughing to the north. And again, the sky should be mostly sunny with showers north and west of here. Let's go out uh, 10 days. This is Thursday of next week, May 14th. The ridge beginning to build in. That looks dry. Here's the rain for Birmingham off the European Ensemble for the next 15 days. Really not that much. A little over an inch 
on the mean. Temperatures, yeah, cool air. Look at all those lows in the 40s. Wow. And then the numbers bounce back, and by the end of next week, we could go back in the 80s. And this is the CPC outlook from May 12th through May 18th, showing temperatures here pretty close to average for this time of the year, if that verifies. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.